I've been involved in the Rosie D lawsuit, which was a class action lawsuit brought against the Commonwealth of Massachusetts um, that essentially alleged that the needs of children and their families weren't being met in the public uh, behavioral health care um, delivery system. And so over the last 10 years, I've gotten to be involved in redesigning and reimagining a system that really puts the needs of children and families at the center of what it does instead of putting the experts or the perceived experts, meaning the clinicians, at the center of the system. And it's been fascinating to watch how that really um, alters not just the kinds of services that we are delivering, but the ways in which services are delivered and the modalities that we're using. And then to think about what are the training implications? How do we train social workers to really work in a family and child-centered way? Uh, how do we think about our practice and our modalities differently if we're thinking about really centering the client's needs in everything that we do?